I'm Matt Kane. I'm a program director in the Division of Environmental Biology at the National Science Foundation in Arlington, Virginia. So program directors at NSF are the people who manage the grant proposal review process and oversee the projects we funded. That means we uh, we brainstorm on areas where we should issue new solicitations. We uh, convene expert uh, proposal review panels. We identify ad hoc reviewers for many proposals. And then uh, we make recommendations on what NSF will fund. Once projects are funded, we uh, make sure that they're going well and uh, monitor the performance. I was approached by NSF actually at the ASM meeting 17 years ago. Uh, Joanne Raskowski, who at that time was the uh, Deputy Division Director for Environmental Biology, asked me to consider becoming a rotating program officer at NSF, which I did, and then subsequently I was made uh, a permanent program director. So postdocs especially can uh, send us their CV and um, begin uh, helping us with the proposal review process as ad hoc reviewers. Um, generally we wait till people are in faculty positions before we uh, have them serve on proposal review panels and, um, and it's basically uh, the best thing they can do probably is, is just do great science. There aren't a lot of program director positions at, at government agencies like NSF, but um, they're fairly unique and when they open up, uh, we actually find it a little bit challenging to identify good people. Uh, good people for this job are people with really broad scientific interests, um, people who enjoy not just reading about science, but interacting with their colleagues uh, because the, the um, the job requires a lot of interaction over the telephone, in proposal review panels, via email, etc. So my favorite microbe is an organism called Acetonema longum. It's a, uh, a gram-negative endospore-forming bacterium uh, and it, it um, fulfills the adage that my major professor used to say, which is, when you look in really interesting places, you find interesting things. Uh, Acetonema was isolated from the guts of the Sonoran Desert termite, and uh, it's a strict anaerobe acetogenic bacterium, and it's also being used as a model to study the evolution of cell envelopes and endospore formation uh, by my colleague Jared Ludbetter, and uh, it's also being used as a, a model for understanding how flagella are inserted into cell membranes. And physiologically and ecologically, it's a very interesting organism. <laughs>